Ladies and gentlemen, it is the first day of spring 2022, March 20th. Uh, yeah, this is this is the skies in Oregon. It's nice and gray as usual, uh, but it hasn't been that way lately. We've had quite a bit of sun, which has been nice. It has been helping to bring the temperatures up in the tank in here. We have been getting the water up into finally above 50 degrees. So of course it's gonna be slow plant growth because as you can see here, we've got, you know, things are still coming along. We're obviously looking a lot better here in the regular gravel bed than in the lava rock bed, but having the seeds probably fall down further isn't going to help anything in here. The hydroton bed looks pretty good too as far as how the plant growth is going and the number of plants that are coming up. It actually looks better in the gravel, so kind of surprising there. Um, but yeah, water temperatures, they've been really cold, so it hasn't been helping plant growth at all. Running this off-grid is definitely a challenge, so anybody that wants to do this off-grid, you've got to be aware of these things. Heat and cooling as well are both a challenge. Cooling will be easier in the summer because of the excess solar. It's going to be easier to run the chiller off solar with a big enough inverter. Heating is definitely the challenge when you've got short days for in dealing with solar. Lemon balm has absolutely exploded here. Smells wonderful. Strawberries are doing great. Kale, this is an old kale. This is a kale from last year sometime. Is on the rebound and looking good. The wasabi that we're hiding back here has been doing good. It is flowering out. So these plants, the little cuttings, we're going to see how things go. And we're going to obviously keep these cool and shaded because that's what wasabi likes. So we will see whether or not we actually get any uh, blah, 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 rhizome out of that. So the actual wasabi that people want to eat. So you can eat the whole plant. The leaves are good, the stems are good, the but the rhizome is really what people want. So the hops are starting to rebound as well. We've got lots of new growth on the hops here. So I'm gonna have to get these wirings, the wires cleaned out of here and put up a fence for the hops to climb up because we're gonna bring the hops up over top like we did last year, but we're gonna keep them on the back side of the greenhouse here so that we can maximize the sun over here for the other plants. So that's really what I've got going on for now. Um, we can see that We've got some radish root down in here, so we should get some good radishes hopefully soon. Yeah, I don't think I got a whole lot else going on. It has been it has been a busy month, which is why I'm a little late doing this, but being the first day of spring, I'm not going to argue. It's a good time to do it. So everything else has been good. Pie is doing its job. Yeah, damn, that's all I got for you people. So. Follow along, I'll keep you posted. We're adding insulation to the tank, as you can see there, foam board's getting secured up there, and then we're gonna cover that up and make it look pretty at some point too. So we're gonna keep that insulated as well. That's gonna help with temperatures, of course. So if you're doing this from scratch and you're gonna do an IBC tank, insulate it right away. Don't do what I did, because it's a lot more work to try and insulate it when it's full, especially when you're up against the wall or anything else like that. So insulate right off the bat, save yourself a lot of time and trouble. And uh, also, you know, when you do your plumbing, get all your plumbing in place, dry fit everything, glue it all, glue it all and re reduce your amount of leaks and things that you have there. So, you know, obviously, you know, anytime you get the chance to start over, there's a lot of things you decide to do different. So take my advice, learn from my mistakes, insulate, glue, do what you need to do right from the get go. Follow along. We'll talk to you soon. Ciao.